Hello YouTube, my name is Kevin aka Kman1 and I'm coming at you with Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonets. This is probably my favorite game series on the PlayStation 2. Uh, and while the first episode's not going to be like super action packed and crazy, it's mostly just going to be like tutorials and cutscenes, uh, this is still going to be a really awesome series and I hope you guys stay tuned for the remainder of it. So without any further ado, Let's go ahead and load up that new game. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. We got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All right. So, here we go, and cutscene. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. According to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. See, the tutorial for this is kind of silly because it was shown in the opening cutscene that Sly already knows how to perform that move. So, you know, video game logic at its finest. You can smash down that air vent and we're just gonna run through. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. Uh, what Bentley's saying there, uh, if you break one of the beams to start with, then they'll all turn red. And as we all know, red is the enemy of all video game characters. So, if you hit one of the red beams, you'll get fried. And Sly only has one HP, nice so... Job. You're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. That door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Yeah, thank you for that awesome insight, Bentley, because I totally wouldn't have figured out to go out the open window. So... Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Foolish raccoon, I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. So, that's our introduction to Miss Carmelita Fox. She's going to be a recurring character throughout the game. Uh, you're going to want to run down this fire escape as fast as you can because her shots can and will injure you. Uh, so you don't want to get hit because that would be very unpleasant because death is one of the weaknesses of most video game characters. I say most because there are actually some characters who can't die and ah, uh, physics engine please. Alright, and jump into the van.
Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I'd come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoons. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust.